Hi, I'm Julie from Clancy Scooter Creations and in this video I'm going to show you how I prepared this patchwork for quilting. The first stage is to check that there are no paper hexagons left inside any of the cloth hexagons. The easiest way of doing this is to hold the quilt up in bright sunlight. After a good look around, I find I can't see any paper hexagons still in there. The light's showing through all the hexagons, so the next stage is to get it ready for the actual quilting or preparation for quilting. You'll need your patchwork, backing fabric just a bit bigger than the patchwork, batting or wadding that is also just a bit bigger than the patchwork, lots and lots of curved safety pins, and a good friend to help you do all the hard work. First of all we lay the backing fabric onto the tables orientating it the correct way round. This backing fabric is slightly larger than the patchwork because I will cut a piece off to make a rod pocket for a curtain rod to go in it when I do the binding. Once this fabric is laid out nice and flat on the tables, you can do this on a floor, but my back's too bad to be able to do that. So we lay it out on tables. Then we add the, the this is polyester batting. Because it's a wall hanging, I don't need it to be cotton or wool or anything that you're going to be sleeping with. Once again, this is only just slightly bigger than the actual patchwork. Laying it out, making sure that you're not creasing the backing fabric or the batting itself. Next comes the actual patchwork which will be face up. The backing fabric obviously is face down. Once again, making sure you have it centred on both the backing and the batting, or wadding if you prefer to call it that. I just give this a um, quick going over with a clothes brush to get any loose threads and things off. Next comes the big job of pinning the, the patchwork to the batting and the backing. This is done with curved quilting safety pins, which make it a lot easier than if you were to use just normal pins. Keeping in mind you have to go through the three layers and back out again. When pinning a quilt 
you need to start in the middle and work your way out to the edges this enables you to keep all the layers nice and flat as you're going along it is obviously a long and tedious process The difference between doing preparing a quilt for hand quilting and one for machine quilting is you don't actually need to have all the extra backing fabric and batting that you would need for machine quilting because what you see when you lay it flat on the table here is what you will have size wise when you actually go to quilt it. The, the backing and the batting doesn't need any extra space so we carry on pinning for literally for hours until it is all completed it, I tend to have it pinned a couple of inches between each pin in most areas and I'll show you some photos at the at the end of, of how it's been pinned there's probably close on 500 pins in this patchwork as my friend is pinning it there's not much I can do but help her keep everything nice and straight on the table
as you can see the pinning process is still going on all in all it took about three hours to pin this quilt there are probably about 500 pins having been used these are 38 millimeter curved quilting safety pins and there'll be a picture at the end of the video of what's left in my container of pins I've done quilts that are bigger than this but luckily with this one it's nice and easy because we can get all the way around it this one is going to be a wall hanging so not quite as big as a queen size quilt that's Tay the cat here's the finished pinning it's pinned into the coloured hexagons rather than the turquoise because the turquoise is homespun so it's like pinning into cardboard same as all the quilting will be done on the coloured hexagons and there'll be no actual hand quilting on the turquoise I'd like to thank you for watching this video even if it is a bit boring at times you know please like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see more videos there'll be a video in about a week's time showing how I actually hand, qu hand quilt this this quilt and it, it won't be quite as boring or as long but thank you very much for watching and please subscribe if, if you feel inclined to and thank you very much I'll just leave you with the parting shots of the finished pinning of the of the patchwork to the batting and the backing fabric as well as the before mentioned picture of the container of pins what I have left I think I started with 800 so there's a good two to three hundred left once again thank you very much for watching I do appreciate it